we've been looking forward to this, Skinny. <laughs> we start with the world of Harry Potter. And how that world's creator, J.K. Rowling, is being hit hard by the realization that her kids are growing up. Yes, yeah, so let's start with Matthew Lewis. He's the actor who played Neville Longbottom in the Potter films. He's a shy, goofy wizard like the rest of the kids from the film. They've matured. They've gone off to further careers. And here's what Neville Longbottom is up to now. He's taking his clothes off. Yeah, he's apparently really into modeling sweaters. Sweaters? Sweaters. Yeah, you see the sweater there. This Look is a that. sweater ad? Oh, it sure is. The magazine photo shoot came as a surprise to many fans. And of course, Rowling herself. She took to Twitter saying, not as bad as watching Dan, but close. Warn me next time, for God's sake. She's um, referencing Daniel Radcliffe's, you know, full frontal scene on Broadway. Man, they have gone on and lost their minds. Now, Lewis responded with, well, this is awkward. Sorry. Uh, then going on, she said, uh, leading her to say, I will always support you, whatever you want to do. Now go put some clothes on. That's pretty good. Long bottom, no bottom, huh? Mm. Hmm. All right. Nice sweaters. <laughs> Taylor Swift's <laughs> new music video for Bat Blood has set a new record after premiering earlier in the week at the Billboard Music Awards. Vivo has confirmed that it had more than 20 million views in 24 hours. They also noted that her videos combined on the site have been viewed 5 billion with a B times. There are about 7 billion humans on Earth, as you know. We're learning some fun facts about the production of the Bad Blood video, including the wardrobe you see. An erotic boutique in Los Angeles is revealing that they supply the latex outfits. Taylor's team rented more than $13,000 worth of the fetish fashions, but kept $5,000. I didn't know you could rent that type of stuff. We I turn now either. to uh, Flav, or Flav, the uh, rapper and television personality, was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday after being pulled over by Nevada Highway Patrol. Flav, whose real name is William Jonathan Drayton. I did not know that. I actually. didn't know that either. William Jonathan Drayton. Well, he's been hit with a laundry he list. He doesn't look happy there, Jack. You're right. Laundry list of charges, which include DUI, marijuana possession, open container, driving on a suspended license, and speeding. Well, he didn't get a... Oh, my goodness. Not stopping at a red light ticket yeah, or anything? That's William Jonathan Drayton there. Uh, he's a legendary hype man, founding member of Public Enemy. He has some other legal issues. He's facing a felony in New York for driving on a suspended license after he was stopped for speeding on the way to his mother's funeral last year. Okay. Right, Next up, Dr. Oz to the rescue again. Yeah, here we go again. America's famous TV doc. He's been under fire recently with uh, his Columbia colleagues calling for his removal, but perhaps they'll think twice now because he's a superhero, apparently. Uh, he was speaking at a promotional event in Jacksonville, Florida, when a woman in the crowd collapsed after someone called for a doctor. Of course, Oz. He literally jumped into action. He attended to her until the paramedics arrived. Yeah, he leaped over a rail. This isn't the first time Dr. Oz has been in the right place at the right time. Two years ago, he rushed to help a British tourist who'd been struck by a cab in Midtown Manhattan. And just this month as well, he helped two people injured in a crash he witnessed on the New Jersey Turnpike, stopping his car and running to the rescue. Does he have a cape, magic wand, mm -hmm. magic stick? After yesterday's rescue in Florida, Dr. Oz urged everyone to take a first aid class. All right, and finally here, we've been telling you about this new show, American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson is coming to FX, and now we have our first look at the cast members in character as the famous faces of that case. So let's start with Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr., who will play Simpson. <laughs> Not really in character, if you will. <laughs> now, uh, here is Johnny Cochran, that's uh, Courtney B. Vance. That's a good look. David Schwimmer is playing Robert Kardashian. That works as well. Yeah, and rounding out Simpson's defense team, John Travolta. Hmm. You see him there? He's going to play Robert Shapiro. The eyebrows kind of, yeah, he looks her there. And next for the prosecution, Sarah Paulson as Marsha Clark. And finally, Kato Kalin. That's Billy Magnuson. Oh, Kato. That's the best one. Oh.